All right, question three is a bit of a tougher one because we've got two shapes in the same question. What we like to do here is identify how many different right angle triangles we have in this Sokotoa question. There are two of them. So I'm going to start, obviously, by figuring out what are they asking for. They're asking for this angle down here. And I can see that in triangle two here, I don't quite have enough information to work with. So obviously what they want, the first thing I got to do is figure out the length of this shared side here. And if I can figure that out in the first triangle, which should be pretty easy, I can then use this in the second triangle to help find my angle. So I'm going to start by working in triangle one. In triangle one, I'm going to decide which angle I'm working with. It's going to be the 52 degree angle. Then I'm going to label it. I'll redraw it so it's a little bit easier for us to work with. This is 28 centimeters. Here's an angle of 52 degrees. And what we're looking for is this, because in triangle two, that would be the same side. I can transfer that measurement over to here in this triangle. So I'm going to start back here. Now that I've figured out which angle I'm going to work with, I'm going to label the triangle. Across from the 90 is my hypotenuse. Across from the angle that I've identified is my opposite side. And the third side is called adjacent. So in so ka toa, I know that I'm working with adjacent and hypotenuse. I have adjacent. I want hypotenuse. That means I'm working with the A and the H right here in ka. So I'm going to write out cosine of 52, because that's the angle I'm working with, equals adjacent, 28, over hypotenuse, which is unknown, x. So I'm going to create my equivalent fraction so I can cross multiply. All I need to do is solve is multiply the diagonal values and divide by the other one. So here I'm going to do 28 times 1. That's multiplying my diagonals. Could do it in the other direction too. Divided by cos of 52. And that gives me 45.4795. I'm going to leave 45.4795. I'm going to leave four decimal places because I've not finished the question. I don't like rounding too much until the very end of the question. So I'm going to leave four decimal places to stay as accurate as I can. And I know that this side measures 45.4795. So when I come over to this triangle, that's the measurement up here, 45.4795. So when I come over to work on this triangle here, remember I'm looking for angle X, that's this angle, I've just redrawn it. This measurement's given is 23 centimeters in the question. And this side, which was unknown when I started the question, I've already found, or I've just found, it's the shared side between them. So this side here, I can fill in 45.4795 centimeters. Now I'm going to kind of forget about triangle number one, work only in triangle number two now. I'm looking for this angle here. So I'm going to label the triangle, cross from the 90 degree angle is hypotenuse, cross from the angle I want to work with is my opposite side, and the third side is adjacent. So when I write out, so, ka, toa, i got to figure out, I'm looking for the angle, I have my opposite and adjacent sides. Hypotenuse is no use to me, so I need the triangle, I need the formula with the O and the H. O for opposite, and A for adjacent. That's TOA. O for opposite, A for adjacent. So I know that the tan of X degrees is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Here my opposite, 45.4795 divided by adjacent. 23. Now again, just out of habit, I'm going to create equivalent fractions here. And to solve, I'm going to multiply my diagonals, divide by the other. So here I'm going to have 1 times 45.4795 divided by 23 equals 1.97736965. That's the tan, remember, of x degrees. Now you don't have to write this all out, I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video to be clear. 1.97736965. That's the tan of x degrees. I want to get rid of this tan, and to do that, on my calculator, I just press shift and then the tan button. That gives me that tan minus 1, and that's used to get rid of tan in front of an angle. So x degrees, once I press equals on my calculator, 63.1. 
to the nearest integer, don't forget they were asking. I look one spot to the right, this is under 5, so I leave the number just the way it was. x equals 63 degrees. That's my final answer.